Now let's get you up to speed uh, with all that's happening as far as India's digital world is concerned. Now India is leading the digital revolution, whether it is payments or mobile operating systems. But now you've heard this right, India has developed its own operating system. An operating system that could challenge the dominance of mobile operating systems like Android and iOS. The systems that we are so accustomed to. So what's this operating system that India is putting out called? The Bhar OS. That's uh, what it's called and you could call it in many other ways. Bhar OS is one way, Bhar OS is something else that you could call it. But yes, this operating system is the one making the buzz. Today we are trying to explain how it could be a game changer in India's digital revolution. Now Bhar OS is a big achievement for the Indian technology universe because it is India's first indigenously developed operating system. It was developed by IIT Madras, an incubated firm, Jand K Operations Limited. The makers of the operating system use the Linux kernel from the main component of the Linux operating systems. So this operating system, Bhar OS, comes with security protocols, such as the proof of trust and chain of trust, which makes the operating system that much more secure than commercial off-the-shelf handsets. And this software is designed to stop working if hackers try to make changes to the system. In fact, Bhar OS also allows users to download organization-specific private apps that have been thoroughly vetted on its private app store, which gives it another layer of security by getting rid of third-party apps that draw data maliciously from your device. Over-the-air updates is another feature that ensures that this operating system is always up to date and is free of any bugs or any security patches that make it easier to hack. So the big question now is, how is this new operating system better than Android that we have all become so accustomed to using? Well, the issue with Android is that it comes with a whole bunch of apps that cannot be uninstalled. In fact, Google is facing anti-competition suits from the Competition Commission of India, the CCI, because of this practice. And Bhar OS, on its part, makes the user interface and the user experience more democratic, allowing users to only install apps that they require and avoid uh, giving away data to apps that run in the background. For the moment, Bhar OS is only available for organizations that have stringent privacy and security requirements. But this OS uh, that developers have said now that they could extend it to the general public depending on how popular it gets. And given that the government is impressed with its ability to tackle Google's competitive practices, don't be surprised if your colleagues start making the shift to borrow as soon.